Well, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the Aratu leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. So it's down to business here. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Bernardo Silva. He's a real box of tricks, Peter, with a, a super first touch and a really nice, silky smooth dribbling style. He's also got an eye for a telling pass and he's a more than decent finisher too. What we don't usually comment on is his phenomenal work rate and that will be a standout for this team over the course, I can assure you. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. Guerrero. João Moutinho. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Pavar continues his run. Timely intervention. Cristiano Ronaldo. And he's on his way! He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. It is a corner. And it's been taken short. Lamar. And it's Mondi. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. That's a decent ball. Mbappe. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Beautifully shoots. A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Pavard. France, so far, providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper.
Havar goes for the cross. Griezmann. And he's there to cut it out. Pavar. Pavar takes the long option. Conte. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Lamar. And it's Griezmann. Now it's Giroud. Pavar. Hoists it high. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out. This Mbappe with the foul. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Lamar. Lamar hits that long. Breaks on here. He's through. It goes for goal. A real chance and a real let off. France know they can rely on the counter and they've just expressed a warning. And it's half-time here. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. The team any further forward than they were when they started out. So we're already into the second period. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Giroud. Guerrero cuts it out. Giroud needed to come up with a better ball. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. And it's Mondi. Lamar. Played into the middle. That's a case of crossing in hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Jean Moutinho, has he found his man? Oh, well played, he saw that coming. Lamar, and here's Giroud. Back into the middle, Lamar. Jean Moutinho. Pepe. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Mbappe looking to force his way through. That's great defensive work. It doesn't take too much imagination to guess what would have happened otherwise. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with, and it wasn't. Portugal clearly aren't looking comfortable on the ball at the moment. Predictability has just crept into their play. Well, the referee's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence. Guerrero. Bruno Fernandes. Guerrero. Guerrero switches it towards the other side. Lamar. Now it's Giroud. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. He's come loose. 
And it's Mondi. Griezmann. Out to the right. Ruben Diaz gets good distance on it. France merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Foot in. Mendy with a definite foul there. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. He's gone for it! Oh, it's in! Finally, finally, finally! What about that, Jim Beglin? Yeah, and I think we may have had too many defenders ball-watching then because they just lost sight of the real danger. France take what looks to be a decisive lead. There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find the necessary to avoid a slip-up now. They seem to have lost their sense of direction. Uh, it should be higher up the pitch. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a loose ball. And there goes the final whistle. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. France.